<laughs> I have three of the recipes today that I wanted to read on four recipes. I might not be sticking to this name as a feature. Um, like I said the other day, this might become three recipes or two recipes. Depends on the length of the recipe and actually how I'm feeling. So, no fairness on this matter. Um, I was looking at Singapore May Fun um, noodles at a restaurant menu. And I always have to ask permission if I can eat something spicy because I don't want it to catch up with me. But it, it has it's um it has chili powder which I feel I can deal with. And I thought, oh, um, you know, and I should look at a recipe of it again because I don't eat this often. And it's one of my favorite recipes. So I thought, what a great opportunity to read a recipe for Singapore may fun. And then I found a really there there are many recipes you can just Google them. Um, you know, recipe for Singapore may fun, and you'll get. Um, you know, enough suggestions that you can choose. I found a really excellently broken down recipe that will probably take me the duration of an entire uh, um, voice video. I don't, I don't know if there is such a thing as a voice video. And a video video would be a vlog. Okay, I'm just completely out of tune. Okay. So anyway, um, this is from a pretty famous uh, Chinese um, um, recipe website called China Sichuan Food. It's an independent site. It's not a group, uh, site of recipes. It's somebody's website. And, um, I, um, I'm subscribed here, so I'm a little embarrassed of going into people's personal, um, sites and, and, um, just, you know, hoisting them onto my, uh, <laughs> voice videos, but I'm gonna do it, so I'm just gonna read a little bit of the advice, um, on this page, it's just on that uh, chinasichuanfood.com, and it's just the recipe for Singapore Mei Fun. You know, if you want to go see it on your own. And um, I'll read some of the background here. What's Singapore Mei Fun? I received one request about how to make Chinese takeout Singapore Mei Fun around one week ago. This was, I don't know when he was writing. Before that request, I had no idea about how popular the dish is outside China. Oh, wow. I mean, I think it has extreme popularity. However, it is worth the popularity. Singapore May Fun typically consists of thin rice noodles that are stir fried. Those are the May Fun noodles that are stir fried with a variety of ingredients, such as shrimp, char siu pork, eggs, onions, and vegetables, and seasoned with curry powder, soy sauce, and other spices. The dish is known for its vibrant yellow color, which comes from curry powder. And the curry powder makes it, you know, as hot as it needs to be, of course, because um, you know, it, it really uh, kicks in the chili powder then. You might be confused about why the Singapore stuff food uh, appears on the Chinese takeout menu. Despite its name, Singapore Mei Fun is not a traditional dish from Singapore. It was popular in southern China and then brought to other places of the world by immigrations. Then the popularity is built by Chinese American restaurants in the United States. Um, the Chinese name of this pan fried rice noodle recipe is, and I don't speak Chinese, and it is usually served in tea restaurants in southern China and Hong Kong. It's very popular in Hong Kong. Um, <clears throat> curry powder, powder has become a popular kitchen seasoning in Chinese kitchens now. And you should not feel surprised when hearing that stewed beef with curry and potato has been ranked as top 20 popular dishes in China. I would imagine curry dishes you usually just find mostly in India, of course, and then they're exported out into the West um, in, in mostly ethnic diners. Um, is a huge new revolution of uh, curry restaurants. And, oh my gosh, I was just interrupted by a phone call. Okay, I'm going to have to restart this.